Hello my friends, welcome back to the Mobius mod. We are going to the amazing, the ultimate, the best mission. We're going to zero hour. So I actually have very high hopes for this mission, largely because when Rhyme and I were doing the design stuff for Nightmare, we very specifically made sure that this mission didn't suck. That was one of our main design goals for the entire thing was to make Zero Hour good. So I am, um, it can't be too bad. Oh, we got mail. Uh, Marshall Rainer, some of my men went to retrieve Dominion Bunker Tech and have not returned yet. If they're still alive, we should rescue them. I fear that without these modules, resisting the Zerg may prove impossible. I would also advise to hold the low ground as long as possible. The narrow bridges should at least slightly impede the movement of the bigger Zergs. Yep, sounds good to me. Oh, structure. Okay, we got structure armor. We got high sec auto attacking. <laughs> high sec auto attacking. Oh, those tacks are going to be autoed. <laughs> high sec auto tracking. Okay, so. I have to get these. These into a bunker. Do the bu oh, we're being hit from both sides, of course. Welcome to Nightmare. Uh, I, I was so busy reading the, the readable things that I completely forgot to play the video game. Okay, we're gonna get these guys over here. Oh, the medics can heal that, of course! I forgot about that. Wonderful. That's insane. So we don't need repair guys for a bit. That way we can rush that attack upgrade. And now we can either get the tech lab or the reactor, which is gonna be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Get some legionnaires. See if we can assist. I think that in order to slow things down, I don't know if stuff is going to go wrong. So what I'm going to do... Oh, yay. Careful. It looks like we got a gym ability. Yeah, he can fire that, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. 30 damage plus 270 versus armored. Okay. And then we have a Tychus grenade. Which does seem to be anti-light. Yeah, plus 60 versus light. So, Tychus is our light killer. I'm cool with that. You know what? Let's turn this autocast on. See how it goes. It is going to drive me absolutely bonkers. I can tell you that right now. But I want to I wanna try to use the... Oh, they got stuck on something. They were doing something, I'm sure, it, which is really helpful. <laughs> and they almost died as a result. There's some money over here. That's really cool, actually. They... Decided to take some of these resources and move them around so that they're worth grabbing. They're not just at the bonuses. I like that a lot. Isaac auto tracking. Uh, probably structure armor first. Structure armor seems like it'd be real nice here. Pair this. We did lose the auto turret, which is okay. I don't think I mentioned this last time, but the medics only have two charges of the auto turret and it seems to never come back. So it is a permanent, but that's... Still pretty good. And it costs 50 minerals. I don't remember. I think I moused over it, so we saw that. Definitely going to want high sec very soon. I love having high... Just, like, upgrades to get is really cool. One of the things that the Wings Liberty campaign specifically designed itself to do was not have upgrades like that. So you get everything in between missions. I think a little bit of both is good. You don't want too many upgrades because it's a pain in the butt. In StarCraft 1, it is absolutely a pain. I understand why they made the change, but I like getting a couple things, especially if they're like uh, not required upgrades. That's really the thing is when you have all these upgrades, it's like, yeah, you got to get this and you got to get this. Then it just slows you down. But like high sec, I don't know, man. Do I need that? I will on some missions, but not every mission. So then it's a decision. And I love decisions. Decisions are always fun. This might be too I don't know. What's going on? There's some stuff over there. We do seem to be farming these guys pretty well. I want to keep getting the upgrades. So, one thing is there's one charge on high psych auto attacking. I don't know if that's a mistake or if it is like we can get multiple charges of high sec later which would be weird but it'd be kind of cool i don't know i wouldn't be against it jeez there's a lot of stuff here we abandon we can heal this up get the guys back in keep holding 
getting buried here. You're okay, Jim. You're okay. So we're going to need to start pushing forward, I think, on this side while we hold over here. I'm really feeling that increased price on the SCV. 75 minerals apiece is making it way harder to afford stuff at the beginning. I guess we're firmly into the mid-game. Right, Tychus is the rescue man because he's not afraid to get down and dirty with the Zerg. Ooh, a fire bat. Plus two bunker capacity. Mm-hmm, make those bonuses valuable. I feel like he just... We have the same feelings on stuff. And that's really cool because I'm having a good time and that makes me feel good. Like, maybe my ideas as what is fun and what isn't are actually not horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Every single thing that is happening here is something that I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I really like that. And then it turns out being really fun. And that's awesome. Really well done. We're going to have to pull some of these guys back. Sir, we just detected Zerg yep, there we go. We need to make sure that every one of these bunkers is saturated and ready to blast. Probably put things around here as well. Hopefully, yep, okay. That bunker can hold. Man, this mission on Nightmare is insane. <laughs> oh. There's just so much. Try to get these depots down. Depot here as well. And we want them all to be raised. Raised is good. Full position. So one of the things that's actually really nice, I didn't think about this until now, I wonder if that's actually one of the design reasons that it exists, is the shielding on the... Oh gosh, there's so much happening. I would really like to talk about what I think is a really good design choice, and I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but okay, there's drops coming on the right. I know my rights and lefts, so we're going to pull some of the guys over here, see if we can help out. Get more SCVs. Doctor is in. Okay, I see the overlords are coming. Oh, do not attack that. Try to take the OVs down before they drop. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Pull back, pull back. Tigus cannot grenade that. Ten minutes left, and those guys got vaporized. We got the bunker over here. So what I was going to talk about was repairs. So there's a really annoying thing in Wings of Liberty that if you are repairing something and a unit does one damage, there's a minimum amount of cost that it takes to repair something. And it means that like one Zergling attacking a target actually forces you to spend way more money than a Zergling would normally cost in order to, or a Zergling would take in order to do repairs. And when you have the shields here, an individual Zergling is not going to cause that issue. Get Tychus over here. Up our boy. This is cleaned up. This is cleaned up. I think we are good to go. Oh, I don't want to lose those depots. All the drops in here have been cleaned. Can't really get to those bunks. Tychus once again has ended up being the Tychus Expeditionary Fleet. He's very good at it. I'm very proud of him. He's never cared about other people before. I'm just putting a couple turrets down here for safety as I move forward. Here, cover me as I approach these allies to rescue them. And then we head right up and yeah. Let's get some of this cash up here. Turrets did a great job at holding things off and now we got to book it all the way back home. Oh, this is a good mission. I'm having so much fun. Okay, so let's load this one up. We got to make sure that this is loaded as well. Whoa, big bailing energy. I did not expect that. Let's move some of the infantry over to this side. 
And then let's try to get a Cerberus. Okay, I can't even look at what that does. <laughs> There's too much going on. By the way, guys, remember, this is made in the custom cam maiden manager. <laughs> This is made in the custom campaign manager, and that means we can go to wherever we need to next. So where do we go? Obviously, we're going to beat this mission, right? There's going to be no further problems, and we're going to beat we're going to beat it. So do we go to smash and grab, or do we go to the evacuation? I know what you guys actually want. I don't know why I'm asking this question because <laughs> I've played with you before. I <laughs> we've done this game. But I will still ask because I'm nice, so that you can tell me to my face that you want me to get the fire bat first. Big volleys going down, taking all that stuff out. Split. Yeah, we got all these guys around. Those drops aren't too bad. Normally they would be. Ooh, this is like the first little break we've had, and it's 15 minutes in. Okay, did you see that? So I think they all got hit lethally by the Baneling, or maybe they just got hit really low by that Baneling, and they all hit their heal thing, and it wasn't that bad. Well, everything on the right-hand side. Four minutes to win it. There's nothing else we got to do on the map. There's like, oh, I didn't get this money up here. And there was some over here we could have gotten as well, but I don't see that happening at all. That's insane. I wonder if the turrets do anything. Do I have a turret? No, I don't. Let's build a turret, and then we can click on it. And here, we have a moment so we can look at the Cerberus. Okay, the Cerberus can ignite targets, reducing their armor and preventing healing. Burning units take damage over the duration. Cool. I like it. It's, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh my, I need Jim over here, he does the bonus versus armored, oh no, Cerberus is going down, take those out, one thing about these infantry I've noticed is that they overkill a lot, I'm pulling back, there's no like objective to hold the low ground, oh gosh, the medics all got stuck on each other. That's not good. I am supply blocked. Let's see if we can just drop some turrets in order to spend the money. Oh, they go out and seek things to flashbang. They go really far for it sometimes. I got it. Well, we'll try to defend the flank like this. Get the Cerberus in a bunker. Cerberus is in a bunker. Two minutes left. I don't want to have to lift. That is my goal here. If we can survive this without any sort of lift, big drop energy on this side. I'm not seeing drops on the other side. Okay, drops are down. A lot of banes. And we can use the gym shot to take out those ultras. Really strong gym. That's insane. And just make sure that flank is covered. I'm not seeing any more drops coming in. Just a lot of raptorlings and stuff. We got the nituses. I wonder if we can shoot these from the low ground. Probably not, no. Okay. So we're just going to have to hold. One minute left. We got this. I have stopped production, and it's just turrets at this point because they build instantly. Also, I'm supply blocked. It does take 50 energy per. i got to keep that in mind. Oh, a Trosk. It didn't cocoon, though. All right, I think it's time. Pull the boys. Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Darn right it is, Matthew. No rush. Stuff coming from the side. Oh, there was a drop right there. I didn't see it before. But the Hercs can help clean that up. No problem. Oh no, down to $199. That means that I can't make four turrets. Broodlords! Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we got 20 seconds to live. Fire the gym shot. Tychus Nade, if he can, he cannot. Broodlords are probably going to be the end of us, but we have 145 supply. We're going to make it. Even the Hercs. 
Oh, we did it. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, that was a good zero hour. Hmm. Ooh, I... I know it's because it uses the Nightmare as a base, but I genuinely have not enjoyed this mission that much since Nightmare. Really great, really great. <laughs> Remember guys, if you want to play this, it works on lower difficulties as well, so you can you cannot get absolutely turned into a garbage bin if you are uh, not quite as good. I, oh, that was good, that was fun. Ooh. All right guys, where do we go, where do we go? We can head to the evacuation. We can head to smash and grab. Either way is fine with me. I am excited to see what there is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, no. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. I haven't said that in a while. Have a great day, man. I'm having a great day. Peace.